Gambling becomes pathological when it starts to dominate our thinking. Behaviour starts to become deceptive. It increases in terms of frequency of gambling and levels. Pathological gambling is listed under the DSM as an impulse control disorder, which along with a variety of other impulse control disorders can be defined as the failure to resist an impulsive act or behaviour that may be harmful to yourself or others. There are a variety of theoretical explanations for the development of pathological gambling. In this clip we're going to focus on the dopamine reward system as a biological factor. So dopamine is an excitatory neurotransmitter found in the pleasure centres of the brain, these areas here. And it plays a key role in learning, and learning by reinforcement. So when we experience something new, and it turns out to be really good, we'll get a release of dopamine. And like I said, this is a key facet of learning. In a primitive sense, this is what leads us to seeking out food in order to survive, and also seeking out sex in order for the species to survive. Dopamine levels increase dramatically when something good happens that's unexpected. But this can become a problem with maladaptive, addictive behaviours to particularly drugs, alcohol, etc. Because after the first time we have it and we expect the same effect, less dopamine is released. So therefore the experience is less satisfying and we need more and more, which is why people increase their dosage on psychedelic drugs such as cocaine. They need more and more to basically get that same level of pleasure that the original hit of dopamine gave the first time we tried the drug. So for some, it doesn't take much to trigger activity in the dopamine reward system. It could be a pop-up ad while we're on a sports site, seeing the odds flash up halfway through the Brownlow count, a media story about a horse in the spring carnival, and this rush of dopamine has an unconscious effect. And all of a sudden, the probability of winning, reason, they're no longer the most paramount factors in terms of our decision making on whether to have a bet or not. The unconscious need for that dopamine hit becomes the most important thing and we act on it. Now I said earlier that when we get a unexpected reward or a reward that's better than expected, we get an increase of dopamine flooding into our system and it sure feels good. So the fact that gambling uses a random ratio schedule of reinforcement is a key facet here because the win's never certain. But for the minority of us, we're always seeking that dopamine hit. We're always seeking that uncertain pleasure that dopamine will provide when we get that win. Naltraxone is one form of biological treatment that can be used to deal with the effects of gambling, not so much the cause. So it works by having an antagonistic or blocking effect at the receptor sites of the postsynaptic neurons so that dopamine can't bind with those receptor sites. So therefore it reduces the gambler's urge to, to gamble the gambler's high that they might get from gambling. So therefore, that maladaptive behaviour is generally successfully reduced.